Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all how to back up your Wii U games and play them from a USB hard drive. Now if you are using a USB hard drive over a USB flash drive, you're going to want to make sure you get the correct hard drive with, for me, I'm using a uh, easy store drive that I got from Best Buy, but you're also going to want a Y splitter cable and this helps with power consumption. That's why it has the two USB ports at the end and you just plug it into the back of your console, preferably the back of the console. But uh, I did make a tutorial on this previously using disk to app, which no longer works because Teramisu has been updated. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up your games using the application WUD, as well as downloading the WUP installer. So let's just jump straight into it. So to start things off, you want to make sure that you have your custom firmware enabled. I already launched the health and safety application for me. Now we're going to go into the Mi Maker, and this is what's going to open up our homebrew launcher. So just give this a second to load up. So now that we're here, we're going to open up the Homebrew App Store, but if you don't have this already, I'll leave a link for it in the description below, along with everything else that I use today. So I'm just going to go ahead and boot this up, hit load, give this a second to open up as well. Now once you have this opened up, there's two applications that we're going to be grabbing here today. So I'm just going to see if they're on the main menu here, which one is, yep, they're both actually right side by side for me. Well, not quite side by side, but we're going to download WUD. I'm just going to click this and you can see this app is to be run under the homebrew launcher environment. So I'm just going to press A to download. This should only take a second, maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds, if that. Next up, we're going to grab the WUP installer GX2. Just click that as well. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to, because I just made this mistake, is the one I opened. It says this app only functions within the aroma environment. So make sure you download the correct one from the store. So I'm just going to back up and look for another one hopefully on this list yep there it is right there this application can install i just had to scroll all the way down to the bottom press a to continue and this is what's going to install the WUP installer and again this should take maybe 30 seconds so just give it a moment now that that's done all we got to do is hit the minus button on our controller and this will take us back to the homebrew launcher and now we can open up WUD. I'm going to press A on that, go to load, give it a second to open. Now you're going to see three options that are on here. Dump as WX, dump as WUD, and dump partition as app. We're going to be doing dump partition as app, but make sure your dump target says SD on it and nothing else. It should be SD by default, so you shouldn't have to switch anything, but just double check and make sure that it is SD. Next, we're going to go to dump partition as app. And it's going to ask you, please insert a Wii U disc and try again. So I don't have anything inserted yet, but I am going to be doing my copy of Mario Party 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in the disk drive. I'm going to press A to return. I'm going to give it just a second so I can hear the uh, disc fully starting up. And then I'm going to do don't partition as app one more time. It says reading disk information. And in a second here, it should tell us what we have. So we have game and other. You never really want to do other. It's always going to say game, Mario Party 10, or whatever game you're choosing. So I'm going to press the A button on this, and it's going to start dumping immediately. So now, for me, it really depends upon your game size, but I'm going to say this is going to take me around 5 to 10 minutes to uh, complete. So let me just skip to the end so you guys don't have to wait. Okay, so you can see we're at 99% here, and everything actually just finished. So it says dumping done. Press A to return. So I'm going to press the A button here. And uh, now we can just press the home button to exit to the homebrew launcher. And now we just have to head over to the PC for a little bit because we have to add our game to our install folder so we can install it. So just give me one second here and I'll be right back. All right, now that we're on the PC, there's only one thing we really have to do here. So you can see I have my SD card open. I'm going to right click the drive and make a new window. That way I can have two tabs of the same SD card just to make dragging and dropping a little easier. So to start off, we'll go with the one on the left here, and I'm going to select WUD dump. This will be created after you did your dump. And then you'll see another file here, WUP P A B A E. This will be different per game. So uh, we're just going to open this up, and this is the actual file that we need. So just for uh, curiosity's sake, if you open it, you're going to see all your .app applications here. Well, files, I should say. And we're going to back up, and all we have to do is drag this folder into the install folder on our SD card. If you don't have one, all you got to do is just right click, create a new folder, name it install. 
Uh, I'm going to open this up and just drag and drop this right in. After that, if you'd like, you can delete this because you don't need this folder anymore. And that's pretty much it. Now we can head back over to the Wii U. Now, once we're back on the Wii U, all we have to do is open up the Homebrew Launcher again, and we need to look for WUP Installer GX2. Now, I am going to take this over to the tablet because I don't think you'll see the screen after I hit the load button here. So I'll meet you guys over there. All right, so on the gamepad, you're going to see a long text of numbers and letters here. Uh, this is the game we just threw in our install folder, so I'm just going to click it so it has the green check mark on it. And then I'm going to hit the install button. From here, it's going to say, are you sure you want to install? You're going to hit yes. And it's going to give you an option to install it either to your NAND or a USB device. You're better off going with the USB device because it provides an extra layer of brick protection in case you have a bad dump or a bad install of your game. So I'm going to be using the USB function today. Once again, I have an easy store drive that I bought from Best Buy along with a wire splitter cable. It's much better than just using a USB flash drive. So the next thing that's going to happen is it's just going to start installing. Now this may take uh, probably about 10 minutes for me for this game because it's uh, almost three gigabytes. But uh, what I'll do is just fast forward and come back when this is all done. Okay, now that it's done, all we have to do is just hit OK and return to the home screen. And now that we're here, all we have to do is just look for our game. Now you can see right here, I have Mario Party 10 already taken out of the disk drive. And now we're just going to scroll over till we see our game. And I have it right here in the bottom right corner, Mario Party 10. So that's pretty much it for this video. I am going to start it just to show you a little bit of gameplay so you guys know that it does work. And uh, then I'll start wrapping it up. So we'll just give this a second to start up and uh, we'll see where this goes. I'm really just going to be waiting for the main screen to pop up. If the music loads and the game loads, then I'll know it's, it's pretty much set. And sure enough, and I can still navigate around the screen and everything seems to be running fine. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys run into any problems, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as best as I can. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video.